In this short video, I'm going to demonstrate how to find Creative Commons licensed images on Flickr. The beauty of Creative Commons is that the owner of the content actually licenses up front in advance their material so that the end user doesn't have to seek permission to use it. If you find something that's Creative Commons licensed, you know you have permission to use it and all you have to do is attribute the creator of the image. In this case, I'm using Flickr. This is my own Flickr site. On the top right hand corner, there's a search field and let's look for flamingos. So I've typed flamingos in there. I'm telling the search, the Flickr search to go and look at everyone's upload. So it's now looking at every single image named or tagged flamingo in Flickr. And if we scroll down to the bottom, we can see that there are a vast number of results, something in the vicinity of 358,000. Now that includes all images on Flickr. It includes images that are Creative Commons and who might have some other kind of copyright, so you can't use these images without digging further. However, if we go to the next level in Flickr, and at the top right hand of this page, you'll see an advanced search option. If you click that, it brings you to another screen with this range of options. So I'll leave the word flamingos in here as my search term. And I want to search all of the text that might be around photographs. And that includes titles, descriptions, and tags. I can choose tags only, but it's, you get a bigger range, a larger range, if you select full text. If I scroll down to the bottom of the screen, do I see this Creative Commons option? here, Creative Commons, and there's this box here I'm going to tick which says only search within Creative Commons licensed content. There are some other sub options. I can select whether or not I actually want to use a Creative Commons image that's uh, able that I can use commercially or that I can modify, adapt or build upon. Their extra levels of Creative Commons, I'm just going to leave it at this point at the general Creative Commons license content and search again for flamingos. So Flickr is now searching using the search term flamingos once again. And if we look down here now, it's been narrowed down to something like 41,000 pictures of flamingos. Now the beauty of this is I don't have to ask permission to use any of these images. And if I want to use this one here, I can. Now, all I need to do when I insert that image into my website or perhaps into my course materials, I don't need to ask the user in advance for their permission because they have licensed it in advance Creative Commons. All I need to do is acknowledge this user here, Mimalalan, or however you might pronounce that, and make it clear to the people who are looking at my content that I have taken the image from them and it's Creative Commons licensed. How you actually put in that attribution on a web page, there's a number of different ways of doing it, and I might save that for another video. The important thing to remember is that you need to attribute the user creator of this image. So just going back home to my own website to go over that again, using the, the search field at the top right, put in your search term, in this case flamingos, click search, then use the advanced search option which appears on the next page. Scroll down to the bottom of that page. Only search within Creative Commons license content. Search again. And any of the images that appear here now, you know, you can use. And these are images of mine that, have, that I have licensed Creative Commons. In fact, my entire website is licensed as Creative Commons, and there are approximately 20,000 or so images up here that anyone is free to use if they find a suitable use for them. So that's it. Use Creative Commons search in Flickr. Cheers.